Rocky Mountain National Park officials say they are closing restrooms and locking up trash bins because of human waste problems. This is due to the government shutdown and its impact here in Colorado. An update on the park's website had concerns about wildlife and public health, but provided few details. Thousands of federal employees are still in limbo as the partial government shutdown goes into today, and they likely won't get paid as we start the new year. President Trump is not backing down on his demand for border wall funding. Tom Hansen has the latest. President Trump says he's ready to negotiate the end of the partial government shutdown now in its 11th day. They can come over right now. They could have come over anytime. In an interview with Fox News, the president invited Democratic leaders Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to the White House, but he stayed firm on his demand for border wall funding. We have to have border security, and the wall is a big part of border security, the biggest part. Democrats take control of the House on Thursday. Pelosi, the likely House Speaker, is expected to quickly pass legislation to end the shutdown. But the bill includes only $1.3 billion for border security. And since President Trump wants $5 billion for a border wall, the White House says he will reject it. You know, I hear so much about uh, the wall is old fashioned. No, the wall is not old fashioned. The wall is 100% foolproof. He made his point clear throughout Monday, tweeting seven times about the wall. Senator Schumer and Representative Pelosi released a joint statement yesterday that said in part, while President Trump drags the nation into week two of the Trump shutdown and sits in the White House and tweets, without offering any plan that can pass both chambers of Congress, Democrats are taking action to lead our country out of this mess. Until a deal is reached, one quarter of the federal government will remain closed and 800,000 employees will either stay home or work without pay. Tom Hansen, CBS News. Whatever Democrats pass on Thursday is unlikely to go very far. The Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, warned his chamber will not send any bill to the president that he won't sign.